Back in the uh, turbulent 60s, um, Lyndon Baines Johnson initiated a, a program, um, I guess incorporated with the dairy industry, where they wanted to make sure that everybody had a um, very nutritious um, diet. And of course, one of the most nutritious things you can eat is cheese. And so consequently, uh, they set up a program based upon your income, the number of children and everything else, dependents, um, that they uh, set up a program where you were entitled to so much cheese and you had to go down and you had to actually go to the warehouse uh, to get it. Um, they wouldn't deliver the cheese, you had to go get it. And of course, th there was a problem in the sense that... Um, you know, a lot of these people who didn't have uh, enough income to get a lot of cheese, didn't have a vehicle, and didn't have enough money even to get a cab or even take a bus to the uh, depots where they were handing out uh, this cheese, which was which was cut up depending on what uh, you were um, um, entitled to. And uh, this is this is not exactly one of my most um, proud moments in my life, but. Um, I was um, walking uh, in this in the in um, Philadelphia, and I noticed um, that there was this man up on a hill, and he was running after um, this rolling thing that was just gaining ground on him, um, and it was going faster and faster. And of course, he could only run so fast. And uh, he was making a lot of commotion up there. And finally, this thing just sped up down the hill. And uh, I was near my car. So this thing came rolling up to me. And at, at that time, it was starting to go uphill and it slowed down. And I grabbed the thing and it was a big round, this big round um, cheese. I mean, you know, they come in a, it's a, a, a big round cheese. Uh, size, Christ, the thing must have been the size of a truck tire. So I... Grunted, I opened up my trunk, I threw it in and took it home. And, you know, the guy was really upset, I guess, livid. I didn't understand what the whole problem was, but uh, apparently, uh, in retrospect, and like I said, I'm not proud of this at all, um, based on, on his predicament, which I didn't know at the time, that um, he was entitled to this humongous piece of cheese. And I guess he figured the only way he could get it home is to roll it back to his house. You know, now I'm starting to feel real guilty. So anyhow, I brought the cheese back to my house, unloaded it, and had my wife help me. And we, two of us, we dragged it up the stairs, and um, we cut it up and put it on the table for dinner. And um, like I said, I feel terrible about this. So we started eating it, and my wife said, um, what kind of cheese is this cheese? Is it cheddar or something? And I said, no, 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 it's nacho cheese. And she said, nacho cheese? I said, it seems like cheddar cheese to me. He said, no, I said, it, it's nacho cheese. And um, she said, what makes you think it's nacho cheese? I said, because the man who I got it from indirectly, as it was rolling down the hill, he was chasing it, and he saw that I grabbed it. And, he, and I was putting it in my car, he was telling me, that's nacho cheese, that's nacho cheese. And that's, that's the rest of the story. So obviously I thought it was nacho cheese, but apparently it was cheddar cheese. Have a nice day.